What's up guys, it's Brown again from Lake Kicker Scuba Marina. I want to take a few minutes here and talk a little bit about diving terminology when we're talking about alternate air sources, stage bottles, deco bottles, side mount bottles. A lot of times I think divers in general just use a generic term for the same type of system when in reality each of these uh, words that we're using such as stage or deco, they actually mean different things. But sometimes we get caught up and we get too scientific, if you will, about it, and we misunderstand what some people say. Now, here recently I did a video about overfilling tanks or hot filling tanks, if you will, and I had a gentleman comment and say, hey, you were wrong in the way you said this. You were talking about hot filling when you really should have been talking about overfilling. And like I said, sometimes we use a generic terminology that means basically the same thing. So I want to talk a little bit about the differences between an alternate air system, sometimes what we call a pony system or a spare air system, and then I'm also going to talk a little bit about stage bottles, deco bottles, and side mount systems. So when we talk about alternate air sources, there's several things that we could be talking about. So first of all, in the open water class, depending on who your instructor is or what agency you learn from, when we talk about an alternate air source, typically it means another second stage. So I've got a primary that I breathe off of, and I have an alternate in the event that this one malfunctions, I can get rid of it and go to here. Or if my buddy runs out of air, of course, I can donate my primary and go to my alternate system. Sometimes they're called safe second. Sometimes they're called spare airs or octopus. It's really whatever you want to call it. Uh, just don't get caught up that it, there's only one terminology. I typically call it an alternate second stage. That's, that's what I grew up calling it. Um, I never really got caught into the whole spare air or, or any system like that. I'll talk about spare air briefly when we get into some of these bottles. But to me, this has always just been an alternate air source. It's a different air source, although it's not a complete air source. We're going to talk about that. But it is an alternate second stage, and that's what I've usually called it. Now, a lot of my students, they'll call them octopuses or uh, safe seconds, or uh, you, you'll hear all different types of things. But that, to me, is typically an alternate air source that, that I have with me at all times. Now, getting on to another type of alternate air source, it could be a pony bottle type system. Sometimes you'll hear them called spare airs, which are anywhere from, say, a one cubic foot to a three cubic foot bottle. Uh, they really don't have much benefit um, at deeper depths, but say 30 foot to the surface, they'll, they'll get you to the surface from about that depth up. But when we look at ponies, we typically think anywhere, say, from a 13 cubic foot, a, a 19 cubic foot, all the way up to a, typically a 40 cubic foot. And I've got several here. This is a 13 cubic foot. Um, this is going to work sufficiently, say, from about 60 foot up to the surface. In an emergency, if you did not have your primary air source, you can breathe off this system here. Of course, you would need a separate first stage, a separate second stage, and, and you know, most preferably even a separate high pressure gauge to go with it so that you do know how much air is in it. But these work good if you uh, do a lot of travel, you don't have a lot of room to carry systems. Uh, sometimes we can use these for argon bottles if you're using it as a different air source for your dry suit so that you're not using the air that you breathe for your dry suit. These 13 cubic foots work very, very well. Um, bumping up to the 30s. Now, the 30s is typically what I use, and I have two 30 uh, alternate airs or 30 cubic foot pony bottles, if you will. And the reason I have two is because I use them for two different things. If I want my pony system on my back, which typically an ice diving I'll do, or if I'm in a public safety sense, I always want my tanks on my back as well. Um, I use the uh, Shark Pony system, which basically it allows this to just clip off to the valve of my standard tank, which is usually an 80 cubic foot aluminum. And then of course I got a strap that just mounts and it holds it into place. So this would be right next to the tank that would be on my back. Um, I have, of course, a separate first stage and a second stage, which you guys have seen the video of that. Um, I've got another 30 cubic foot pony that I use anytime that I'm going to sling that system. And this is where we got to be careful using terminology because sometimes people can misunderstand what you're talking about, whether they can't read the whole context of the topic or they're just shooting off at the mouth or whatnot. But unfortunately, people do misunderstand what we say sometimes. So I'm going to start using terminology now in the proper context to what we're talking about. So my 30 cubic foot pony that I sling, I'm going to call this my alternate air source because it is a completely separate system from my primary air source, which is a tank, a regulator, first stage, a regulator, second stage. 
This is a completely separate system, okay? It's a separate tank altogether. It's a 30 cubic foot. I do have it caught, or rigged up with what's called a stage bottling kit, but don't call this a stage bottle. This is still just a typical pony bottle or a uh, alternate air source. But with the stage kit, I have mine measured out to the right length. So the bottom bolt snap will go to a D-ring on my hip. The top bolt snap will go to a D-ring on my shoulder strap itself and so that when I'm horizontal in the water column it stays horizontal as well but once again this is not a stage bottle this is not a deco bottle this is what's called a pony bottle or alternate air source system separate tank separate first stage separate second stage and I do have a high pressure gauge on here as well so that I can read my air pressure so that to me is what we call a pony bottle. They can go anywhere, say from a one cubic foot all the way up to say a 40 cubic foot. Now the reason I'm gonna stop my terminology at that 40 cubic foot is because we have 50 cubic foot cylinders that are typically a primary tank. If you're on say a little 50 steel cylinder, those work good for primary cylinders. So I'm gonna stop say at that 40 cubic foot level as far as a pony system. Now when we start talking about stage bottles versus deco bottles versus side mount, a lot of times we rig these systems the same way and we use that ge generic terminology, but we're really meaning different things. And we have to look at the whole context of the subject to understand exactly what type of system we're talking about. So when we talk about a stage system, this could be a separate air source, if you will, to extend our bottom time. Maybe we wanna stay a little bit longer. Maybe we don't have a large enough air source to extend out our no decompression limit. We don't wanna go over the no decompression limit, but maybe we want to extend it to that maximum and have as much time underwater as possible. So when we talk about a stage cylinder, typically we mean just an alternate air source, if you will, that extends our bottom time. Now there's several different ways to do that. This happens to be one of my side mount cylinders here. And basically all I've done is if I'm in that side mount situation, I have a bolt snap, which I can clip off to a hip D-ring here. Now on my side mount system, of course I have bungees that hold the tank in close, but you could use a generic stage bottling kit for stage cylinders. And of course stage bottling kit is nothing more than a bolt snap at the bottom, bolt snap at the top, that would be a stage cylinder. Once again, Generically speaking, stage sometimes get mixed up with deco and pony, and it's not. A stage cylinder is something that's going to extend my bottom time. Now, a deco cylinder is a little bit different. Sometimes they're called decompression bottles, and these are the bottles that we want to accelerate decompression with. So if we are technical diving, if we do go deeper than typical recreational limits, or we do push that no decompression limit and we cross over, then typically we're talking about a decompression bottle. So we've put our body into decompression, we need to take our body back out of decompression. And they're very similar as far as how we set them up to a stage cylinder or even a, a 30 or 40 cubic foot pony, but they are designed to accelerate decompression and they're typically a higher percentage of O2 in that mix. Now, all these tanks here have air in them right now. I don't have nitrox or any type of blend in them. They're just a typical air. But when we talk about stage, it could be nitrox or it could be air. Typically speaking, a, a, a deco bottle or a decompression bottle is gonna be a 50% blend and higher. And all that does is basically just accelerate my decompression on the way up. So once again, please don't get these terminologies mixed up. Understand that when you're talking to someone and they, they say something such as a pony or a stage cylinder or a deco cylinder, there are differences in terminologies. However, sometimes we get them mixed up in the whole context of the subject and we have to look at the whole context of the subject to understand what we're talking about. So once again, alternate air source can be anything from a separate second stage it could be a pony system. It can be a stage or a deco bottle or a side mount bottle or something like that. But alternate air source typically is just a sec another second stage or a separate alternate air source such as a pony, first stage, second stage, and gauge. A stage bottle is typically something that we use just to extend our bottom time. And then of course a decompression uh, bottle is what we use usually with 50% or higher nitrox in it. And then that's what we use to accelerate decompression. So guys, I really hope this video was informative. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comment section below. Make sure you check back each week for new videos. Guys, if you like this video or topics like this, 
Hit the like button, give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. That at least lets me know you do like the content that we put out there. But as always, guys, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.